Head straight back, all right? And don't forget the roast. Ugh. Hello? It's not your decision, Piotr. It's the boy's decision. If he wants to defend his motherland. It will be a bloodbath. You know what those machines are capable of. Every volunteer receives the best training and equipment. And who knows, maybe one day you will command one of these. He will not. I won't let my son die in another meaningless war. Meaningless? We are defending our homes, our freedom. What do you want your son to become? A patriot or a coward? Like me? We will all do our part to protect Polania. Will you? I don't think the war will be that bad. And Uncle Lech will look after me. No! Everyone will be home by Christmas, boy. This is not a game, Yannick. It's... It's the right decision. You are a man and a Polanyan. You should be proud to be both. Come, pack your things. Yannick! You're going to war? You heard him. Just for a few months. You're leaving me alone! No! Never! I... just want to protect you. The war is coming, whether we want it or not. Uncle Lech says the best chance we have is to strike fast and hard. We have to show the Roosevelt's and Saxonians that we won't put up with anything. We won't hide! But Papa says it's going to be a bloodbath. Papa is not a fighter. He would rather hide out here until the end of time and repair rusted farm equipment. He doesn't understand. Then... then I want to go with you. I'm doing this for you, Butterfly. Don't go. It's only for a few months. They said the war would be an adventure. Promising pride and honor. In the end, it would be five years. Years of torment and horror, like the world had never seen before. For the first time, the great nations of the world faced each other with weapons that could kill dozens, hundreds, with a single blow. The war is over now, but it cost the lives of millions. Among them, Yannick, my brother, who wanted to be back for Christmas, who had promised never to leave me. Anna, what, what are you doing? I, I know you told me to wait, but, Papa. Shh. It's okay. Shh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come, there are many wounded. We'll help them, and then we'll go west where they can't find us. What the hell did you do, Piot? Why were they looking for you? He just told them what they wanted to hear. He was saving the village. Then tell me!
professor. You're a hard man to find. See? This is exactly why we need access to the factory. That little toy of yours just broke state-of-the-art Prusia technology. Any chance you can get me one of those? I don't know how to get into the factory. I heard differently. You and your friend Steinmetz, you are the keys. Hmm, dramatic. We're done here. Take him. Yes, Colonel Zubov. She saved many of us. <laughs> After her father caused all of this, it was a liar. He was never one of us. Marius, Konrad, Antoni, they are all dead. We have to find my father. Haven't enough people died already? We are not doing anything. Leave! They went northeast, towards the railway. Thank you. <laughs> you, both of you. You did. Someone must warn Heinrich Steinmetz in Kolna. And you need to run. Be safe. Why did the Colonel call you Professor? And what did you... <laughs> Anna, we have to go. It's not safe here. Split up the troops! They mustn't catch us all at once! Operation Hope continues! The Polanyan resistance won't let anyone down! Never! Yes! Was Papa... Professor Dybowski? Always was. Your father and Heinrich Steinmetz worked for Tesla back in the day when he invented the auto machines. I don't know what Zubov wants from them. We found out that son of a bitch was looking for them, so I sent some men. Obviously, we came too late. Why did nobody tell me? Didn't want anyone to know. They were engineers at the factory before you were born. They ran away to start a new life. Until the war found them. I need to talk to this Heinrich in Kolno. He must know something. That's where we headed as well. Roosevelt troops set up a blockade around the city, and we're going to pay them a visit. If you don't want to run, you can join us. You're a good shot. As soon as I've buried Papa. All right, but don't take too long. War does not wait.
Hey. Thanks. You saved a lot of lives back there. Doing my best. Do you want to join us? Pavel wants to play his guitar and we need everyone to stop him. <laughs> sure. Anna, a ward. I'll be right there. The boys love their Joan of Arc. <laughs> the girl that leads Polanya to victory. There won't be a victory. Half the country is occupied by Roosevelt. And our fine government thinks talking is going to change that. We can't negotiate with them. We have to take back what is ours. And we can do that? We could, easily. No force can occupy a country when its people do whatever it takes to drive them out. Millions of Polanians rising up. Roosevelt wouldn't stand a chance. I wish more people would see that. They're tired of war. Too many have died. Everyone has lost loved ones. So they'd rather live on their knees? Freedom has a price. We have a dangerous road ahead of us. Don't celebrate too long. And now, a new song! Hey, piwko, kobietki, śpiewajmy w kurs! Saksoński bydlaku, o cały psa w nos! I siwo, i butelka, wódeczki, ciach! Rozwiecki sołdacie, a ty gryziesz piach! Steinmetz? Anyone? He's a Saxonian scientist or inventor or something. I'm looking for Heinrich Steinmetz. Is he here? Teach them the basics. Firing, reloading, what to do if the thing jams. Or a matter of when, then if, right? Anton! Yes! Guns in the next wagon. They're for your guys. On the double! You got it! What the hell is going on? Not now, Anna. You said the train was filled with food! I said supplies. And more importantly, hope. Stop! You wouldn't understand. Stop what you're doing. We're not arming civilians. That is exactly what we are doing. The Roosevelt soldiers could be on top of us any second. Get to it! <sighs> we were supposed to feed the hungry. You know the saying, give a man a fish and feed him for a day. Today we teach Polanya to take back the whole goddamn fishery. There's no way these people can win against the Roosevelt's. That's the point. They won't. Can't you see? With every week our people become more used to these bastards being here. Our country, our home will be lost forever. Unless something drastic happens. The massacre of Kolno. A Polonian city that refused to be defeated. In which patriots took up arms and fought to the last man. 
Roosevelt's massacring an entire city will break the truce and ignite the spark of resistance. We could drive Roosevelt out entirely, as one nation, as one people. We wanted to save them. Be smart, Anna. Roosevelt are responsible for Yannick's death. This is our chance to destroy them. I'm going to stop this. I can't let you go back there and confuse them. The men look up to you. You're an idol to them. But the only thing better than an idol is a martyr. Oh! Seems you have it handled. Who are you? Steinmetz, my name. Heinrich. I heard you are looking for me. Maybe we should postpone this conversation. This way, young lady. It. Quickly! <laughs> if it isn't little Miss Dubovsky, still playing war with your uncle? This is it, everyone! For Heinrich and everyone on that airship! Hold fire! If Steinmetz is under, let's fly! On the contrary, thanks to her, I need to chase down that airship. That's the least of your problems. Polania will rise up against Roosevelt. You have a mass revolt on your hands. Hmm, yes, that is a rather good start, isn't it? A few more incidents like this, and we'll be back at war in no time. Thanks for playing along! What are you talking about? They needed us to break the truth. Now Roosevelt can claim they have no choice but to retaliate. Clever girl. Except this was not Roosevelt's doing. They too are hesitant to start another war. Especially now Tsar Nicholas is aware of our existence. A shame he could have been useful. Who's us? Fenris. The future rulers of this country, thanks in part to your uncle. Die, stop! No! Ah, uh, what did people even see in him? Was it this never give up bullshit? Maybe you should have quit. Then you wouldn't be lying dead in the shit right now. And you should never have meddled with big world affairs, little girl. What the hell is that? It's a... Retreat!
I'm sure he would have been happy that you finally came. We're not here because of him. We're here because of you. You are right. We couldn't stand by while innocent people were killed. And this was exactly what Zuboff wanted. We made everything so much worse. He won. Colonel Zuboff and his men entrenched themselves north of here. They know they can't outrun us. We need Zuboff alive. Follow me! Give you whatever you want. You want a free Polania? I can make that happen. We want information. About Fenris? Nobody would believe you. That's why you're going to reveal everything publicly. <laughs> They'd kill me if I talked. I'll kill you if you don't! Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> Anna! <laughs> Colonel what happened? Hurry! Help me up! Give me a head start and then we out of here. You and I have big plans. Trust me! Don't move! Who are you? Hello, Butterfly. I know it's hard to understand, but I have to go. We... we thought you were dead. What... what is this? I'll explain it from later, but I have to go. <laughs> Where have you been? I promise. My men tell me that he is a Roosevelt operative working for Zubov. I'm trying to expose who he really works for. You mean Fenris? You... you know about Fenris? No, 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 it's your turn. Why are you working for Zubov? What is that suit? How are you even alive? I'm waiting. It was four weeks ago. I was in St. Petersburg for the peace negotiations. I was providing security for a delegation and... The talks were dragging on forever. You damn Polanyan peasants! We need your potatoes to feed Fritz in Helga! No! We need the potatoes for vodka! More vodka! Touch our potatoes and I'll kill you with my bare hands! <laughs> Come on, Uncle Lech. Just one good punch. I've got a bottle of schnapps at stake here. Nothing more fun than politics. Gambling for money or schnapps is illegal in the city. It's only gambling if you don't know the result. My uncle and your guy will come to blows before the summit's over. Wanna bet? You are Lekosa's nephew. Yannick, right? You know who I am. I... noticed you. You shouldn't be lying around on rooftops. Somebody might mistake you for a sniper. Not without a rifle. Your people made sure everyone surrendered their weapons, remember? This is a friendly negotiation. We want to keep it that way. Multiple friendly attackers. Infantry, basic weapons. Insurgents.
territory. Majesty, I must report. 98 soldiers and guards lost. Samata in порядке? No, I'm not. They poisoned my men like rats. Outrageous! An attack from the inside. Some say security measures were inadequate. They blame you. Scotty! Can you hear me? Victor! He is out! Civil burns on 70% of his body! I sent a cable to Kaiser Friedrich and informed him that Fenris was behind the attack. He wants to continue the negotiations, but Rasputin thinks it is unwise. The biggest threat to our country isn't war, it's revolution. If we remove a common enemy for the people, they might look for a new one. So we wage an unnecessary war to distract people? In that case, it wouldn't be unnecessary, would it? This has to stop. You know what must be done. Blood pressure is low. Grip. More blood! I will release you from your duties. You will no longer have an official position. I should have listened to you in the first place. With Fenris scheming and walking against us, there can't be peace. Maybe not even an empire. I want them exposed and destroyed. Do it quietly. But do it right. Удачи. Already working on it. We won't get another chance like this. Spanners! That's it. Listen. How to get it off? It is more than a suit. It's fused to your body. Advanced technology by Nikola Tesla himself. Tesla? Bullshit! He came out of seclusion a couple of weeks ago. Sent a letter to Tsar Nicholas, Kaiser Friedrich, and as far as we know, every other leader in the world. He warns them of an organization called Fenris. Powerful people who work in the shadows destabilizing governments, and starting wars. They are also responsible for the fake coup in St. Petersburg. And with that, your condition. So, what of them? I think our friend Zubov is one of them. But there must be others. He doesn't have the power to do this alone. I need to get out of this thing. I can't get you out of it. Nobody can. It would kill you. I'll go back to Polonia. There must be somebody who can help. Viktor Popov wouldn't try to flee. They'll kill you as soon as they discover you're not him. Better than living like this, isn't it? I didn't swap your bird ass with Victor so you could get yourself killed. You know how many strings I had to pull. Getting you into a program I'm not supposed to know exists. Thanks. Fine. 
If you want to run, so be it. But first... <laughs> if I'm right, this will be a very interesting program. Zubov, how nice of you to honor us with your presence. Tell me, how did the last operation go? It was um, partially successful. <laughs> I could have sworn it wasn't a dead man I was talking to the other day. Господи. Well, now we know that Tesla does more than whisper advice in the ears of leaders. He actively interfered with our plan, which was a surprise to all of us. The plan was too complicated from the beginning. Bullet in the head, such as before with that Archduke. Shooting bullets is easy, Brother Remigius. Having others blamed for them requires a lot of work. As soon as the Tsar and the Kaiser have time to focus on what's going on behind their backs, we are screwed. They must go. Gentlemen. We had a setback, but still, our influence is greater than ever before. We've even found a way to finally crack Saxony. Our plan is in motion as we speak. Kaiser Friedrich is a dead man. He just hasn't noticed yet. And when it comes to Roosevelt, the revolutionaries will kill Tsar Nicholas and plunge the country into chaos. Eventually. Until then, we have to keep him busy and force him to resume the war. I'm sure someone with your talents will know how to use the rebels in Polonia for that. Of course. All of this is still in jeopardy as long as Tesla is able to interfere with our plans. The man might be insane, but he's also a genius with considerable resources. Agreed. I've worked on solving that problem since the letters first arrived. I have information about a former Tesla collaborator. He may have crucial information on how to overcome Tesla's defenses. Zubov, this is your chance to make up for your failure in St. Petersburg. Find this man and bring him to me. And Colonel, we won't accept another failure. Did you hear that? If they want to use Polonia for a new war, they must be stopped. We must stop them. Fine. I'm in. Activate my suit and I'll take care of them. We can't walk around and kill generals and the Tsar's advisor. I don't care about consequences. It's not that. Killing these people would slow Fenris down, but you hurt him. There are others. Everywhere. Maybe hundreds. If we really want to stop Fenris, we have to rip it out by the root. Zubov wants his new toy around. That makes you the perfect spy. No, no, no. Gain his trust, become part of Fenris, and then have your revenge. Meanwhile, I will go to Dresden and warn Kaiser Friedrich that he is in danger. Talk to Tsar Nicholas. I'm not sure he would believe me. Grigory Rasputin has a way of gaining the trust of powerful people. We're on our own. It's us against them, my friend. I hated everything about the plan. But she was right. These were powerful people who start wars for personal gain. A system they helped to build would not stop them. But maybe we could. Well done, Victor. Prepare to move. 30 minutes west of here, we'll camp and wait for sunrise. Turn down the tavern! No survivors! What? They're civilians! Civilian or not, we can't have any witnesses. They didn't do anything wrong! It is about what they might do in the future. Like rat us out to the Saxonians. What are you waiting for? Burn it down! And make it look like the Polanian resistance did it! 
bastards! wondering how I can live with killing innocents. It's war. It is part of human nature and will only become more devastating and cruel. And in the end, it will end human life altogether. So we did that family a favor? <laughs> what if you were wrong? And this was the war to end all wars. Tomorrow you'll see what Saxony is working on, Victor. Weapons that could reach St. Petersburg within an hour. Someone in Saxony could press a button, and thousands in Rusviet will die. How can anyone sit back and hope no one will ever press it? We need to be the ones with the button. That suit of yours is the weapon we need, but my engineers don't even understand how you are still alive. Tesla's technology, it's like magic. There is nothing he can do. Do you think that he could get me out of his suit? <laughs> After we force him to explain everything, any of our scientists could do that. Every last one of his secrets will be ours. We will have the power to bring back peace to the world. No one could oppose us. Stick with me, Victor, and I'll make sure you're on the winning side. We didn't find the engineer. But, just as you'd expect, the Saxonians had their paperwork in order. Steinmetz escaped captivity during the war. The Saxonians tracked him all the way to Colma in Polania, where he remained out of their reach. They also had files on the other previous Tesla collaborators. One of them was in Polania, some professor who soup of you. Two solid leads. The report called them the keys to Tesla. Zubov was in a festive mood. That evening, he told me about Fenris, and I joined them. Yannick, what have you done? What I had to. Win Zubov's trust and learn more about Fenris. By killing people? By helping them? Do you think I enjoyed any of it? I want to live in peace without this... any of this. These people need to be stopped, Anna. They're dangerous. I know! Zubov found the professor in Zalesha. He took his mechanical arm, Tesla's arm, I suppose, and killed him. He killed Uncle Lech and tried to kill me. Dad? Papa? I, I swear, I didn't know it was him. Does it matter? He could have been anyone's father. He'll pay for this. You've got to stop, Yannick. Stay with us. I can't. Just... not yet. Be safe. Yannick! If I got that right, he's your brother? I, I don't know anymore. What should we do now? Try to find Zubov? We know where he's heading. Tesla's factory. That's where we have to stop him. But first, we have to help the wounded and bury the dead. You had the young lady. Help these good people, then make ready for a trip to the Balkans. What are you doing? Herr Stein, it's what a pleasure to finally meet you. You're not easy to find. Only for those I don't wish to be found by. Fascinating. Rosviet Sprite, recognize the tech. Looks like Nicolas Tech cobbled together by a bunch of monkeys. Well, we want to learn. Must be horrible in there. Can you get the suit off of me? I'm sorry, no. This is from after my time. We require access to Tesla's factory and to his inventions. You tried that before, didn't you? In the war of 05, you lost. 
My friend Piotr Dybowski lost his wife during the fighting, left with his young son and his baby daughter. I heard you found him. Dobowski wasn't very cooperative. Good. You work with him? With Dubovsky? Sure, brilliant man. We all were really. We wanted to change the world and thought the auto machines were everything we needed. No more hunger, no more hard labor. Time for people to study and learn and love. But, well, they used our machines for other purposes. You trusted cavemen with a gun and thought everything would be fine? <laughs> You're not as clever as you all think you are. Now, how can we enter the factory? You'd need a transponder, but I won't give it to you. And even if I did and you were to overcome Nikola's defense, he would simply activate the Icarus protocol. And that is? The reason I left. Oh, Bryamets, you are going to give me that transponder and show me how to use it, one way or another. La, I'm not a huge fan of pain. Besides, we swore to Nikola we'd not be taken alive. Leben Sie wohl. Transponder! Forget it. This journey isn't over, my friend. Not yet. <laughs> this fool didn't know we have this. Get me an engineer team. I want the transponder. And what do I have to do to get a medic? I was in a goddamn explosion! <laughs> <laughs> Enemy forces approaching the city from the north, Colonel. Short. Hold the entrance by any means necessary. And you? Find him. Search this whole damn place and bring me Nikola Tesla. Go, go, go! This is it? Tak točne. It has to be. It's the last one. I'd be obliged if you'd refrain from further damaging my property. We're hereby confiscating all documents, tools, machines, and other relevant materials on the premises. You won't find many documents of use to you. It's all in here. Just as good. You'll have plenty of opportunity to share your knowledge while experiencing the hospitality of Mother Rusviet. Mother Rusviet? Or Fenris? Can you get me out of this suit? Отставить! Grown up stalking. Could you? I could. Ah. The only thing worse than an enemy is a traitor. I've been waiting for this for a long time. No! You'll have to wait a little longer. Tear this place apart. Bring me everything. It's over. You lost. We all lost today. What's going on here? What did you do? Colonel Zuboff, if you would kindly lower your weapon. What the hell are you doing here, Junta? Same as always. Kicking your ass.
isn't it? What? All of this. The biggest military operation since Napoleon's campaign against Rasviet. Napoleon lost. Are you planning to lose your father's war? Napoleon didn't have any mechs. Neither did he have the greatest tactician since Hannibal at his side. <laughs> His flattery occurs at the academy nowadays. When we are out there, I want you to be careful. Bullets don't care who they hit. Bah, you ought to be in a bunker ten kilometers behind the front. And miss the fun? Victoria wants us to finally retake what is ours. What my ancestors achieved in the West, I will repeat in the East. I'm sure the Peranians and Rusviets will have something to say about that. Also los! Ten minutes until Operation Sonnenaufgang! This is a disgrace. Our orders clearly forbid celebrating holidays with the enemy again. It's Christmas. The one day everyone can forget this mess. These are the people who've killed over two million Saxonians. And you want me to celebrate with them? Your father thinks it's worth it. How could it be? And it is not my father's war. Not anymore, at least. It's the Reichstag. These politicians and industrialists, lawyers and bankers. The Crown should have the power to send them all to hell and stop this. And tell all these men their suffering was for nothing, it would be the end of the monarchy. How many lives could we save if we kill those bastards right here and now? Duisburg! Herr von Duisburg! Uh, the Kaiser! What about him? Kaiser Friedrich wants to talk to you at his Dresden residence. I have no interest in seeing him. But he's the Kaiser. Uh, it's your duty. Not anymore. And he's your friend. Does he need another scapegoat? The messenger says it's urgent and that he won't accept no for an answer. I've already advised him not to repeat that in your presence. Please, your lordship, the Kaiser is besieged from all sides. There are whispers of replacing him or even abolishing the monarchy altogether. He needs the defender of Saxony by his side. Pack my things and have my carriage ready. <laughs> it's already prepared, mein Herr. Iron Cross and Oberst. If things go on like this, you'll be giving me orders soon. I serve my people however I can. You think you serve your people by disobeying orders and letting hundreds of Roosevelt's die in agony? The fortress had been under siege for months. The Knights of Saxony succeeded in only hours. The way east is clear now. Poison gas, Wilhelm! Never before have we waged war like this! We've never lost millions of our people either! There are villages in Saxony where you can't find a man between 15 and 35 anymore! 
families losing their sons and brothers and fathers. Villages destroyed, cities burning. Have you seen the men in the fortress? Have you seen the look on their faces? It was horrible. But shouldn't every means be justified, even our duty? As long as it alleviates the suffering of the Saxonian people? Problem is, this is exactly what some Razviet commander in his trench thinks too. Now you have given him license to make everything in the war far worse. It has to be done now! They could be everywhere! Dissolve the Reichstag! Dismiss your advisors and bring the press under your control! You need absolute power That's to- That's all for now, Ken. So we're having chats with crazy old men now, instead of saving the Reich? That is all! Old friend, good to see you. Have a seat. Olga Morozova, confidant of my cousin, Tsar Nicholas. It's an honor to meet the great Gunther von Duisburg. Why am I here? Scheming politicians talk of abolishing the monarchy. Impertinent industrialists threaten to stop funding the crown. And you, <laughs> you ask why you are here? I can't hold back the tide. What if you could? A few months ago, myself, Tsar Nicholas, and other leaders received information about a secret organization. Men who have promoted the war, prolonged it, used it to gain power. The information came from Nikola Tesla. He has been collecting intel about this organization for years. They call themselves Fenris. The accusations were as outrageous as they were credible. Tsar Nicholas and I have agreed to a ceasefire through secret channels in an effort to expose Fenris members in our governments. That's why you're here. I need someone I can trust. You publicly called me a liar to save your son. There are elements in Dresden. I suspect even among my ministers, who work against me and the ceasefire. A liar! The people are unhappy. Our propaganda convinced them we were on the verge of victory. They do not understand why we've embraced our Rusviet brothers. We think Fenris wants to use that to their advantage. According to Olga, they are working to reignite the war. No shadowy organization made Sars and Kaiser start this war. It was their own stupidity. Their dream of power and glory. Hubris! Enough! And now you are looking for any other possible explanation. Because your failure is so colossal that no man could admit it without going mad. You are out of line! I can assure you Fenris is real. I have observed the meeting of Fenris leaders with my own eyes. Of course you have. Espionage and uh, manipulation are not my battlefields, Fräulein. I am a soldier, have been all my life. Unfortunately, there is nothing left worth fighting for. Do I have to order you to help me? Try it. Sir, I have the numbers you asked for. <clears throat> 248 wounded. 612 of our men didn't make it. <laughs> it is all worth it, isn't it? Für Kaiser. Und Vaterland! What the hell is going on? <laughs> Who do you think you are, old man? He's the prince! Ah! You are lucky you are my best friend's son. Or I would have you caught, Marshal, and shot! Ah! 
I see you still enjoy a quiet night walk. It's the only time I'm on my own, old friend. were right. I wanted that war. Just like everybody else, including me. It was bound to happen. We just didn't realize what war would mean in this day and age. I had to sacrifice you. Wilhelm is the heir to the throne. The scandal could have been the end of the monarchy. Giving him the crown could be the end of the monarchy as well. He is... unstable. War makes savages out of otherwise decent people. I want to end it, Gunther, but I want to do it right. I beg you, investigate the Fenris situation. It is real. The Rusviet spy, Olga, said Fenris wants to find a way to get into Tesla's factory. Whoever has his weapons is no longer interested in peace. I fought in all your wars, old friend, but I am an axe and you need a dagger. You are an honest man, and you are my oldest friend. Maybe my only friend. Do it for me. Do it for old time's sake. For the Reich. I don't care. But please don't let me fight alone. Uh, all right, then. Politically, I'm weak. I don't know how much longer I can defend this peace treaty. I need all the ammunition you can give me. Together, we'll reveal these people and their- ah! Somebody has to make the hard decision, right? He couldn't. It's about sex and his soul. He would have lost the battle. How could you? Me? It was you, crazy old man. Help! Murder! My father! Help! I know there are more of us. You could raise an army. We could move around Wilhelm's forces and conquer Dresden. Like Caesar conquered Rome. I saw his army. We can't fight them with stones and good intentions. We need more heavy weapons and mechs. What is your opinion, Fräulein? You should find better guards. Target Nacht knew you were there. Have a seat. I guess we have to thank you for the bridge. Fighting Prince Wilhelm in Dresden would reduce the city to rubble. And you may have fewer friends than you think. Tell me. Their misinformation campaign began. They are distributing leaflets depicting you as a murderer and all who help you as insurgents. They took over the newspapers. In a few hours, Saxony will read that Wilhelm is a rightful ruler and beset by enemies from within. He'll ask his countrymen to help him defend Saxony in this time of crisis. And many will believe him. When the sun sets, they will have arrested members of parliament, judges, officers, unionists, anybody who might have the power to stop them. It's going to be a dark day in Saxony's history. In the world's history. And the good chief of Saxony stay silent and pull their hats in, like they always do. Not all of them. There are those who will not be bent. Those who don't lose their humanity because it's the easy way. It's these people we have to put our hope in. It's not enough. We can't just sit here and count on others. At this point, marching into Saxony with an army strengthens Wilhelm's narrative of a country under attack. This is not the time for armies and battles. 
This is the time to work in the shadows and win the hearts and minds of people. I like that. We have the truth on our side. They can't maintain their lives forever. It will get worse before it gets better. It is hard to destabilize a big country with a functioning political system, a free press, and independent courts. But all of that will be gone very soon. Wilhelm wants to defend his country from Fenris, but instead he presents it on a silver platter. There are over 2,000 people under my protection. If we can't go back, what am I supposed to do with them? We need a safe haven for these people and everybody else who is in danger. Nobody will take us. They fear Saxony, and they have their own problems. No, there is such a place. Tesla's factory. He fights against Fenris. He has the power to fend off anyone stupid enough to enter his city. And in its heyday, tens of thousands of people lived there. It's going to be a long walk, but it might be our only option. And Wilhelm's army? They'll catch up with us within a day or two. I taught him everything he knows about tactics. But not everything I know. I'm sure there is room on a Mac for one more old man. If I find an old man, I'll be sure to tell him. We're almost there. Tesla's factory is somewhere just beyond those hills. We've bet a good many lives on the hospitality of a hermit, known for roasting intruders. Tesla got the Fenris rock rolling. He can't intend to fight them alone. Let's hope he doesn't. What are you waiting for, Fräulein? Zubov must already be in the compound. Then let's go! What are we waiting for? Wait! <laughs> Günther von Duisburg. How unexpected. What's your business with us, Commander? They call you the Kaiser Killer. If that's true, then we're not on the same side. You're fighting Lev Zubov, a Roosevelt colonel who secretly works for an organization called Fenris, right? They are responsible for what happened in Polania, for attacking the Tsar in St. Petersburg, and most recently, for the murder of Kaiser Friedrich. We've let these people out of Saxony, and we are here to stop Fenris. Whatever it takes. It looks like you need some help. Our men are tired, but this is no time to rest. If this battle is lost, then there's nothing to stop them. I fought against your troops at the Battle of Stargard. I'm not looking for forgiveness, just offering help to prevent the next war. And I'll take it. It's over. You lost. We all lost today. What's going on here? What did you do? Colonel Zubov, if you would kindly lower your weapon... What the hell are you doing here, Gunther? Same as always, kicking your ass! I wish you had come before this fool tried to take the factory by force. He activated the Icarus protocol. Icarus? We've flown too close to the sun. Now, we will all burn! Amazing! 
Luigi on an unimaginable scale and releases it in a single giant blast. Anything metal within 20 kilometers will melt. This area will be plunged back into the Stone Age. There must be tens of thousands of people in a 20 kilometer radius from here. As I said, I wish he wouldn't have tried to take the factory by force. We have to stop it. You can't win, but we can try. I'm in. Follow me. For glory! of lives. You've doomed us! My prototypes! They'll fall into Fenris's hands! We stopped Icarus. We can stop them. <laughs> You're delusional. You can stop an organization that plays to people's lowest instincts. Do you not think there are thousands of people out there willing to trade their morals for a little bit of power? Do you think reason and knowledge can win against prejudice and fear? This is their century! I've tried to stop them. I had the ears of emperors, and yet... I failed. It's not emperors who will defeat Fenris. It's us! You're right. I am Olga Morozova, an intelligence officer of Tsar Nicholas. This is Anna, hero of the Polanian resistance. Over there stands Gunther von Duisburg, the legendary Saxonian tactician. You'll notice that we are not trying to kill each other. In fact, today we fought side by side against a common enemy. Wicked people who work in secret, who will stop at nothing to gain power. They call themselves Fenris, and there is no end to their ambition. Olga is right. Distrust, revenge, fear, these are their weapons. But they are ineffective if we trust instead of fear. Forgive instead of avenge. Build instead of destroy. We have more in common than what separates us. And there are good and bad people on every side. All we have to do is find the good ones. It is said that all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. I believe all of you to be good men. And uh, women. Damn right! I don't know about all of you, but I'm done doing nothing. Who is with us? Yes! One day, I'll ask you to free me from this suit. But for now, I still need it. Will you join us? You're all dreamers. I like that. Dreamers move the world. Can any of you weld? Uh, uh, me! We need the defenses up and running within a day. And we need housing for all these people. 